I'm running for House District 96, which is really the the West Mullen Road area. So the boundaries uh, to the north are I-90. Uh, the eastern boundary is Reserve Street, and the southern boundary is Mullen Road. And then the district runs out to the Frenchtown area. All right. Now, why, why did you choose to take the step up and run for the legislature as opposed to staying in the city council? Well, you know, I've had uh, a lot of folks from across the state and um, some of my constituents and, and friends and family members encouraging me uh, to do it and, and to step up and, and look at the state level. Um, and, you know, I've thought about it a lot and uh, and met with a lot of people and, and discussed uh concerns that my constituents have, and, and it just seemed like um, it was a great opportunity to, to take a step forward and hopefully uh, help uh, build a better future for the state of Montana. Okay, so what what specifically, uh, what uh, specific issues are you looking at trying to tackle when you, if and when you get to Helena? Well, I think a, a big one is income tax reform. There was a good income tax reform bill uh, last session that my opponent voted against and the governor ultimately vetoed. Uh, but it had a wide-ranging support from Chamber of Commerce to uh, Montana CPAs, uh, a lot of business folks that, that wanted to see that tax relief and a simplification of, of, our, of our income tax structure. Um, I'd like to return the state surplus back to the people that paid it. Of course, you want to keep uh, a fund, you know, a rainy day fund for, for when the economy uh, goes bad, but we need to return that money back to the, the people that paid it instead of sitting on uh, on too big of a surplus. And then, you know, I'd like to, to just bring a, a pro-business mindset to the state capitol. Uh, and then also, you know, some of the experience that I've gotten from serving on city council, uh, I hope will provide great insight to other legislators about how local government works in Montana uh, and maybe some things we can do to make it work better. I do know that as a member of the council, is one of the only, if not the only, conservative member for quite some time. Uh, I know it's probably difficult voting against the majority all the time. Uh, and if you are elected to the legislature, you'll have a, a, a lot more a lot more company on your side of the aisle than you had in the city. Yeah, well, it, it would certainly be a, a different dynamic, uh, one that I would uh, love to be a part of. I expect the Republicans to keep majorities and, and expect to be able to, to um, provide a lot more leadership and get a lot more done. But at the same time, having been uh, in the extreme minority um, on city council, you know, oftentimes finding myself uh, on a 1 to 11 vote, uh, on the losing side of a 1 to 11 vote, I think I can also, you know, really understand and work with the other side of the aisle uh, when appropriate, um, just because I, I know what it's like to be there. Um, and, and I think uh, that's a really good experience for, for me to bring as well.